Hi guys, Steve here, and today we are in SnowRunner. First time I played this game, so I'm just starting out, and this is going to be just as much as of a learning curve it is for me, as it is for you if you haven't played the game. So we will start in Michigan, and I've just had a quick read before we started, and there's been what appears to be a devastating flood, which has caused the bridge to collapse. Uh, it's the only link to the other side of the river. So first we need to find the watchtower to get a view of the surroundings. Then we'll have to find a truck capable of transporting some materials. Need to repair a bridge. After the bridge is repaired you'll be able to reach your first garage. So that is our objective for today. So we will get started. Okay, so... So we'll find the watchtower. So, I don't think that is loaded properly. It doesn't seem to have done. Ah, right, okay, yeah, it's an unexplored area, so that makes sense. So we'll find the watchtower. The steering has gone really heavy. <laughs> so we could be having some enjoyment with this. Because that steering is too heavy. So I'm just going to adjust the settings, because that's just crazy. So let's see, so we'll just turn that down a bit. Hopefully we'll uh just gonna restore it to default. It's something So we'll just uh let's see, so where's the controls? Steering wheel, yep, so we'll find that. Probably should have realised this first, but that will explain why it's not working. It's not automatically um, ticked everything on the steering wheel to start. So we'll have horn, differential lock, headlights, okay, so turn them on. I think that'll do for now, just the basics, just to get going. Okay. Don't know why this is proving to be so difficult to steer. Might be because of this. So, driving on rough terrain, you can switch to low gear. That'll probably be the reason why. Might make it a little bit easier to turn. Okay, we'll go with that. Doesn't seem to be. They'll shift an E. Okay. Should go off low shift when you're on a normal terrain. Right, okay. I'm coming into a muddy zone again now, so. Probably leave it on this. Just going to uh, stop it here for a second, just to sort this out. to try and uh, sort out my steering wheel. I think my steering wheels have caused a nuisance to itself. Seems to be uh, okay now. Seems to be very easy to drive, hopefully. I might consider playing this with my Xbox controller. It might be a bit easier to play. Seems to be uh, a bit strange to play this on a uh, steering wheel it doesn't seem to like it for some reason don't know whether I need to set it up properly or what I'll have to have a look at the settings and see what I can get 
to make it work a bit better. I'm sure we'll be able to cope just for this uh, first trip and hopefully be able to build the bridge. I don't want to hit that rock. Uh. Ugh. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely uh, something to uh, be a bit concerned about, this uh, steering. Certainly uh, something I'm going to have to look at. Right, okay, slow down. Reading terrain, you will encounter different kinds of terrain, such as road, dirt, mud, deep water... Deep water, deep mud, water, rock slides, or rocky slides, snow and ice. Only the most experienced drivers with well equipped vehicles can drive any kind of terrain. When in doubt, there's no shame in avoiding danger. You can find out more about the different types of terrain in the codex available from the escape menu. Okay. I'm just going to put the damn brake on. Okay. Oh, where's this taking us now? It's right, I think I'll get to um, check these settings again because I don't know why it's not working. So it's changed it to custom again. I don't know if it thinks it's a different steering wheel for some reason. I'll turn the force feedback down, see if I can try and. Try this and see if that works any better. Yeah, that's inverted the wheel axis, it's a bit strange. Yeah, so that's not what we're after either. Seems to be very annoying this. Yeah. I'm just going to try that and see if that helps. Ooh, water. That's not a good idea. Should be okay though. Yeah, just about okay. Ooh. You can refuel here or near any vehicle that may potentially carry fuel. Refueling is free, as are repairs. Try to refuel as often as possible. Okay. Alright, so we have a full tank. And I'll leave. Okay, so I believe the uh, watchtower must be down this little the track which I'm going to go around because that's quite a deep puddle. So. <laughs> 
Note that Watchtower head. Such icons will help you to detect objective zones nearby that you can interact with. Interact with. Okay. Watchtower discovered. Good job. You discovered your first watchtower. Discovering watchtowers will reveal parts of the map. To repair the bridge, you will need a bigger vehicle transport materials. Open your map to look at the surroundings. Objective. Find a truck capable of transport materials needed to repair the bridge. Okay. So, let's have a look here at the observation point. So, yeah, it's quite a big area. So, I'm just going to open the map. So this is where we need to go, so we've got our Chevrolet CK1500 that we're currently driving and the truck is over here, so I'll just put a marker down and we'll get going. I believe we need to go to the left there. Go down here. This could be a bit of fun. <laughs> I think we might be a bit of stuck there. Okay. I think I might have got stuck in some mud. Hopefully we'll get out. Yep, yeah, get out. Okay. Past the lumber mill. Seems to be a bit easier to drive now. Although I think I will be using controller for this, it seems to be. I know a steering wheel is preferred, but. I think, to be honest, I think a steering wheel might be a bit easier. Okay. Okay, so, we need to select the other truck, so... Okay. We found a truck, but I think it needs to get we think we need to get a bit closer. So let me just try and now oh yeah. It would help if we get into drive, wouldn't it? There we go. You found your first highway truck. The truck is designed for roads, so there are no off-road options included. Try to not fall into the swamp or drive into deep mud with it. You can find out more about the different types of trucks in the codex menu. Okay. Stop engine, change truck. Okay. Good. It's not the best truck for the job, but that will have to do. This company Steel River Township is waiting for you to repair the bridge. You can find contracts like this one in a map menu. Okay, so Okay, so we need the map menu and we are going to contracts tab. So we need to go to here. Accept the job. It's oil old bridge reconstruction. So deliver to the old bridge, metal beams times one, wooden planks times two. I'll activate that and So first of all we're going to the town storage. OK. 
Okay, so we'll move to that. We're now ready to repair the bridge. This truck has space for cargo. Every truck body or trailer has a different cargo capacity measured in slots. This truck is able to fire, transport two slots of cargo. Come on. There we go. So we're getting there now. Nice, I think we're here. Looks like we're at the warehouse. We should not crash into anything. Okay, so cargo management. Loading cargo. There are a couple of ways to load a selected cargo. Automatic loading provides a simple and fast way of loading without the use of a crane. Right, okay. So I think we'll auto load because uh, well saying that I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's see if we can um, unpack a cargo. Right, move cargo. How do you do that? Right, so move them. Right, okay, so how do you... Right, just trying to work this out. So... Hi. Right, okay, so I can do manual loading. Okay. And I only need one metal beam. I'm just trying to work it out how you just load one. Because it doesn't seem to... I'm just trying to work it out because it doesn't seem to it 
at least. Um, I'm just going to unplug my steering wheel for a moment. Just going to try this on the keyboard because it seems to me that it's, uh, it's causing a bit of a problem for um, here. So I'm just going to try and see if I can figure it out. Certainly an enjoyable game, but it's certainly a bit of a strange way to do things. So you could auto load, but if you want if you want a manual load, because the problem I've got now is I'm going to have to if I right okay I'm just trying to see what can that do there right aha I'm gone I think I might have figured it out so escape V. There's a winch there. Oh, how do you see? All right, I can't work this out. So it's a marker there with the winch, but how do you... Right. Because if I do that, it fills both slots, but I only need one of them. So... Or is that only counted as one? What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to drive it as it is now, and just see if I can... Right, so where do I need to go with this, because it's... Uh... I need to go to the old bridge, so... Go to that, put a marker there. Changing to uh, keyboard seems to be a lot easier. Um, possibly going to have to look at setting up my steering wheel properly for this at some point. It's been a bit stressful with that and it seems to be uh, making my steering wheel run very hot as well. So I'm going to have to have a look at that and see if I can work out settings for it. But for now we'll continue with good old keyboard and mouse. So the uh ah can we Yeah I don't think I'm gonna be able to pass through that. The road's out, isn't it? So there is an alternative route which goes via there. So I think to be honest I'm going to have to go back and just try and see if I can... I might get some fuel while I'm here, since I'm near it. Right, even though it says we're not going to be, shouldn't go off road, and I'm going to give it a go anyway and see how we get on. Should be fine going through this because it is quite a. Uh, be 
beefy truck, so we should be okay. See how we get on. It's the worst that could happen. Get stuck. Oh, he managed to get through anyway, so. Right, here we go. There we are, we're getting somewhere now. Ah, bridge site, here we go. Okay, unloading cargo. When unloading the cargo, you may be presented with different unloading options as one cargo may be used to complete different objectives. Now, the current unloading area is used only to complete your current job, there may be others that are used in multiple contracts. Okay, so we'll unload. So we've got the frame of the bridge. The bridge is on its way, but not there yet. To complete it, you should deliver another portion of cargo to the building site. The cargo you need is located on the local lumber mill. Check the map to pinpoint its location. Okay, so we'll go to map, and we'll get rid of that marker, because we don't need that anymore. So we need the local lumber mill. So that is where we're now going. And it seems to me the best path is going to be. So we're going this way, and then we're going to there. Yeah, that's pretty much the marker route we need to be heading for. Pick up some wooden planks and we'll get going. Oh, that's the wall. Hopefully we'll be able to get this bridge and get to the garage on the other side. Still okay for fuel right now. Okay. Okay, so you've got two loads of wooden planks. And now get out of here. Look at where we came, lovely sunset, a lovely 
oranges and yellows coming out on the lovely autumnal trees so you don't crash into that post I think it would be a lot nicer to use the steering wheel but we'll revert to keyboard and mouse for the rest of this trip I'll have to have a look to see if I can get it working or perhaps use my controller maybe if it's easier doing a lot of work that steering wheel and I wasn't getting much benefit from it at that time so I'll have to have a look and see what settings I can get for it and sort them out hopefully I can make it improve it the usage of it Okay, we're now back at the bridge site again. Anyway, put my lights on since it's going dark. We'll finish off building the bridge. Okay, so we'll finish off building this bridge. Smashing. New driver rank unlocked. Contract completed. Every contract completed will provide you with money and experience points. Every, every watchtower discover will reward you with experience. XP allows you to unlock new driver ranks necessary to unlock new vehicles and upgrades. You can track your progress on the profile menu on F4. Okay, so we've now repaired the bridge. We can now go and find the garage, which I would presume is on the other side of the bridge, considering that's what the aim of the mission was. Now I'm just going to check the map just to see if we can find it. So the garage now appears on your map, the road ahead won't be easy. You can switch at any time. So we'll go there, I've got no idea what this path is going to take me. It says the garage is that way, so we'll follow that marker on the road there. Wooden sign. Wow, it's a very uh, bumpy road. Loads of trees down as well. Certainly a lot easier to drive on tarmac though than it is in mud on this particular truck. Let's have a look at cab view. Oh yeah. Loving cab view. Right, okay. Um I think we may have to go off road in here. Oop, just spin the camera around. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to go up there. I don't think we're gonna get through that. I somehow don't think. Doesn't look massively deep, but I think we're better might be better off going this way. It's a bit of a maybe not. Looks like we've beached ourselves into some mud. Right, okay. Looks like we'll have to go through the water. Looks like it should be a good route. 
Hopefully, we can get out. Right, okay. Looks like we may have to use our winch. Uh, nothing around here at all, so we may have to go forwards rather than backwards. So, just hope we can get out. Yeah, hopefully. Oh well, oh well. No, I think we're buried. Ah! Let me see. Looks like we'll have to recover the truck. Try and uh, start again. Right, where are we? So we are... Back where the truck, <laughs> back there again, great. Alright, we'll have to drive back round to the bridge again, and try that again. Ugh. Maybe I should have gone through the water after all. We'll get there in the end. Oh, hello. That wasn't good. Well, we might get to the end at some point. <laughs> it's not going well. First uh, mission, but it's all a learning curve. Road. Ah, oh, that's better. You can see a bit further now. Figured that one out. No point of damage isn't too expensive to uh, fix. I think it did say earlier on the thing that in the video that apparently damages don't cost anything. Finds a bit odd. Right, we'll go through the water this time and not get stuck in the mud. Hopefully that'll be a wise option. Ugh! Damage the engine. Come on. Hope it's not freaking ghost.
Right, we'll go through the water this time, hopefully we should be fine. So it didn't look that deep, but it was quite a way, so I didn't fancy the idea of going through it, but it looks like we might have no choice. Not stuck in that mud pit before. Hopefully we don't get stuck in this water. Yeah, we look okay here. Yeah, it's not that deep at all. Almost here now. I think we might actually be here. Look at the marker. It says truck services there. Yeah, we are. Looks like we're here. Garage discovered. You've discovered your first garage. What have you done so far is the meat of the game. Explore and discover watchtowers, complete contracts to win rewards, and find garages to improve or buy new vehicles. Now let's go inside. Woohoo! Now what's this marker for here? Ah, new truck discovered. Okay. Hmm. Get upgrade. You can find upgrades in the world. They may not apply to your current vehicle, but will be useful for others. Find an upgrade gives you a copy of it for free and unlocks it in the customization store. Interesting. Okay. You can use the garage to turn your truck into a real monster. The local swamps will be your new stomping ground. When you're ready, take on a contract and get yourself out there. We're now in the garage. I wonder what we got in here. So you've just got all the bits and pieces. So you can upgrade the engine and things and what have you. So certainly be interesting to uh, certainly improve my truck and uh, get things going on it, you know. So you've got a snorkel exhaust and things like that. But, um, well, if you are watching this video, and I do thank you for watching along. It hasn't been the easiest of experience to, at the start of this game, but... It's learning while we're going. And this is pretty much going to be a walkthrough, as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to be learning as I'm going along. And I do thank you for watching, guys. I'll be back soon with more videos. I do have another American Truck Simulator on the way uh, tomorrow, which will be Friday. And I'll be having more content on SnowRunner over the next few days. Until then, thanks for now. Why not consider liking subscribe into the channel and turning on notifications so you next one no next one I will go live on the channel if you do feel like leaving a comment please feel free to do so and for now thank you for watching